Hey everybody, I'm James Sylvester. I'm a printmaker based in Portland, Maine. That's me right there, mixing ink and rolling it out. Getting ready to tell you about my process. So, uh, in my process, it involves a lot of playing around with different printmaking elements. Um, for the most part, right now, that means relief printmaking, so stamps and linoleum carvings. And I tend to carve a lot of different um, movable pieces. So right now I'm messing around with lots of trees um, and large uh, shapes of mountains. And I print those all right on a press right here. And then um, I take smaller elements, like these tiny, tiny stamps, and I fill up the prints with different colors um, and different smaller elements. So. You can see this print that I'm working on right now. Started with a big linoleum cut in the background for the shape of the mountain and the trees in the foreground. And then the rest of it gets filled up with stamps. And it ends up being much more of a painterly process instead of a like rigid um, piece by piece process. It ends up being very intuitive. I'll have a whole lot of, you can come over here and look at all these stamps here. Um, a whole lot of stamps that I play around with. So right now I'm ma basically focusing on using these different kinds of little trees to fill up the landscape with. But this can change on any other day. Like uh, sometimes I'll be like, oh, well, I want to play around with gravestones today. Um, and then I've got pieces like this. That's a little gravestone. And, you know, who knows where that'll go. So a lot of times I've got a bunch of different prints that I'm working on. So this one here has got a couple of gravestones going on and a tree, and I don't know quite what's gonna happen in the background yet. That's where the fun comes in. I tend to leave big empty spaces on my prints for me to fill in later. Very, uh, like I said, intuitively and based on what I have to fill them up with. And a few hours later, a new print was born of a tree with some faces in a graveyard. And I'll tell you why. Because I have all these little carvings and they end up being like toys in a toy box or tools in a toolbox that I can then use in all these different ways combined to create new images and new stories and basically just have lots of them. So here's the early stages of the piece that I'm gonna be auctioning off at the Elsewhere All Hallows Eve Virtual Bash 2020. And I wanna take you through a bit of my process as I build up stamps in this piece. Ah, here I am embarking on a new journey through stamp land, uncharted territories of an empty mountainscape. And through adding stamps to this piece, I can not only add the imagery of the trees and work intuitively, but I can also do things like utilize ghost printing, which is where you print an image without having it fully inked. And it achieves, um, it allows you to achieve an interesting variety in marks and color. Um, while printing just one stamp, while having inked it up only one time. Down, dig it 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 down, to the ghost printers in the sky. A large part of my process also stems from my love for drawing. Um, and so one of the reasons why I love to be able to have this process where I create all of these different stamps um, that uh, cover a range of subjects and images is because I like to be able to just have an idea um, whether it's like oh a creepy monkey or a dancing tree etc um, and just be able to carve it without having to think of a larger thing for it to be a part of um, and once it's carved in a small stamp I know that then I can use it at any point and so when I'm working on a print I can be sitting there and looking over my pieces and then uh, you know, it's as easy as, oh, you know what? This print needs a scary monkey, or this print needs a dancing tree. Thank God that I, I have one of those and I carved one like a year ago. And then I just go find it, and I ink it up, and I put it in the print. Um, I don't think this one needs a scary monkey or a dancing tree yet, but you never know. And it's good to be prepared. Um, Turns out it didn't need either, in my opinion, in the end. Here's the finished piece. I hope you like it, and I hope to see you at the Elsewhere All Hallows Eve Bash.
Virtual Bash 2020. See you there.